We're gonna make a pizza today. We're gonna do it really simple. It's kind of like everybody's favorite pizza. It's gonna be spicy Italian sausage with sauteed onions and mushrooms. Who I am is Butch Milbrandt. What I do for a living is grow grapes, oversee the winery. The cooking part is a release. Be able to prepare a dish and people enjoy it. My second passion is aviation. My third passion is motorcycle. Have you checked the oven? I could smell I your do need to, I need to check that, excuse me. <laughs> We're gonna make a pizza today. We're gonna do it really simple. It's kind of like everybody's favorite pizza. I like making it because everybody loves it. And it's usually the first one to come out of the oven. And then we go on to other things after that. The salad's gonna be really simple. And we're gonna focus on simple here because it's a simple pizza and the salad can be simple as well. So to get started, well, first of all, we should probably have a little 2014 Pinot Gris to, to uh, amp up the creativity on the salad part. And uh, it always helps to, uh, you know, have a little refresher. Very nice, the salad tastes better already. To make it simple, we just have a spring mix. Easy deal, it's already triple washed. These pieces are fairly large, so I like to tear them up just a little bit. Not too much, I like some large pieces, but some of it, you know, something a little more manageable. And so then we do a little red onion slice very thinly, so you can almost see through this. And then also some goat cheese. And this is fairly cold, so it's easy to break up, just enough so that each person gets a share. The simple dressing is just olive oil and a little uh, balsamic vinegar reduction. So the, it's pretty already, the color is nice on that. A little salt, some fresh ground pepper. And we'll toss that a bit. Get that oil and that vinaigrette. Put the vinegar in there. And this is all it takes to make a nice refreshing salad. And we'll finish that with a few pine nuts that I roasted, and uh, you're ready to go. Okay, so today we're gonna whip up this pizza. We'll kind of keep this real simple as well. It'll be the pizza dough and five ingredients, and we'll throw that together. You just make a standard batch of dough. It's, it's enough for two pizzas, but we're just gonna do one right now. It's gonna be kind of like a little, nice little private uh, pizza dinner for my wife and I after Work. I was gonna say hard day's work, but nobody believed that story. So a little flour here, kind of work the dough a little bit, get it used to the idea that you're gonna mess with it so that it'll do what you want it to. And a lot of people just stretch and pull. I'm uh, too lazy for that and not expertise enough, so I'm gonna roll it out. And this takes a couple of times because it doesn't wanna really give up its shape that it's had for a while. A little more flour. I go as thin as I can. I like thin crust. This is this will come out just cracker crisp. On the peel, put a fair amount of cornmeal. So this would be, you know, just see how that slides around? Very easy. And then this is just like jar spaghetti sauce. You can actually just use canned tomato sauce if you like. And that's probably more of a pure Italian way to do things. But I like the, uh, the spices that are in canned spaghetti sauce. There's some sauteed Italian sausage that I did earlier. And you just sprinkle that on there to the amount you want. And this is pretty spicy. Put some sauteed mushrooms on here. And then also I sauteed some onions. Sprinkle around on there. So you got you got lots of flavors here. There's a fair amount of goodies on there, so you're not lacking, you're not looking for something to chew on. And then a little mozzarella. The kind I bought here comes pre-sliced, but I like to just tear it up and it looks a little more rustic, just torn in pieces. So there, that's pretty much it. This thing is ready to go to the oven. All we do is get it out there. So at the last minute, I decided just to add a few green peppers, just a little color. Could use basil, but the green pepper will give it a nice touch. So that'll take a two, three minutes, depending on the temperature. Shouldn't take very long at all. And then we'll just turn it, a half a turn, and another minute or so, and we can bring it back out and be ready to go.
We're going to try the uh, Cabernet Sauvignon from, from Millbrand Vineyards, the Traditions Cabernet Sauvignon. And hopefully it'll pair well with that pizza. It should really, with the tomato sauce and the Italian sausage and the sauteed onions, it should be delicious. So I, I, maybe I'll just get a little head start on it. Let's just say I'm going to let it breathe a little while. And then I'm going to help it breathe too. I think we'll take it out and take a look at it, see what we got. It could use another minute or so. Well, it's pretty crisp on the bottom. I think we're going to go with it the way it is. Let's eat this thing. Instead of cutting it into wedges, we like to cut it in small squares, maybe two and a half inches or something. There we go. We're good to go to the table. Oh, better take the wine. Well, here's to a nice little pizza.